Hey guys, it's your boy Rocky coming at you saying what's up. Had to, uh, had to put one of these together really quick because I'm noticing something that, that a lot of people are saying that I want to kind of address. And I was going to type it out, but I figured, you know, sometimes words get lost in translation through other people reading it. So I want you to hear my voice when I say this so there's no miscommunication. Um, one of the things that I'm hearing a lot of is people saying that I want to feel normal. Um, that I want to, I want to be able to eat normal or, you know, I don't want to deprive myself. All of these are, are great, you know, um, battles, if you will, you know, with, with, with weight loss surgery. But my question is what's not making you feel normal? You know, the foods that we're eating, you know, particularly, you know, from the kitchen with all these different recipes, this is normal. You know, this is good stuff. And I'm not saying it because it's from the kitchen. I mean, you got skinny taste. You got all these different places to get recipes from. This is normal, you know, and this is what it should be. Normal isn't eating, you know, that cake. It's not eating a donut. You know, that's not normal. That's the processed foods. Those are things that are bad for you. So, you know, I heard a young lady say it today that, you know, she's she's not dead, that she's going to live, you know, and, and she's going to eat what she wants to eat. Again, I get it, but why not try to to play with your food, if you will, um, this way? You know, look at what I did today. Today, what I, I wanted, I wanted to have lasagna. Lasagna is one of those foods for me that, you know, I love lasagna. I love Italian food, period, but I love, love, love lasagna. So I figured, let me combine some of the different recipes that I've done and make a lasagna pizza. So, you know, again, play with recipes, play with foods. I'm not a chef by any stretch of the means. I just know how to put A and B together to make C. So if I can do it, you guys can do it. And, and I, I encourage you to really play in your kitchen. You know, read the back of labels. Make sure that you're doing the right things. Because another one of those hidden traps that I've seen out there is that you get caught up in what the front of the package says. More protein. It's great for you. We've increased the protein. It's healthy. It's this. And then when you flip it over and start reading the back of that label, you find other things. You see that it's high in carbohydrates, that it's high in sugar, but it has protein in it. Be careful. You know, and again, I'm not shouting anyone out, particularly not even the young lady who posted the cereal. That's not what this is about. This is in general that I, I keep seeing these things and I'm hearing these things, um, you know, so I just wanted to really touch base with it to let you know that this is your new normal. You know, what you were doing prior to surgery, that wasn't the norm. That wasn't. I, I, and, and, and let me rewind that for a second. What I was doing, having 16 pancakes a four egg omelet with a pound of bacon and four pieces of, of whole wheat toast to make it healthy, that wasn't normal. So what I'm doing today is normal. What I'm doing now that I sacrifice all of that crap that I was eating, again, that wasn't the norm. So I want you to kind of try to tweak your mindset to what, you're, what you should be doing, if you will. Um, Again, it's, it's not a combative thing. It's just that I really want to try to define what the norm is, you know, and what you feel that isn't normal about eating this way, about eating clean. So what's not normal about that? I, don't, I, I, I honestly don't feel any deprivation from what I am doing. Um, you know, and I, I hear that a lot. I'm not going to deprive myself, deprive myself. I can't. I, I'm telling you guys, I eat well. I eat all day. That's the other thing that I hear people saying, all right, I'm grazing, I'm eating, I'm doing this. You know what? I eat all day from sunup to sundown and I still maintain. And part of it is, yes, the exercise regimen. But even so, even when, I am, when I'm not putting it in hard in the gym like that, I'm still losing because the things that I am eating on, the things that I have put into my diet now, my my new life choice is is good for you. It's good for me. You know, it's not packing on or tacking on pounds. So that's what you have to do. When I hear the people say I'm eating all day, what is it that you're eating? 
I'm eating apples. I'm eating yogurt. I'm eating uh, Cracker Barrel cheese. I'm eating pickles. Um, what else do I eat? I, uh, there's a plethora of different things that I eat. But again, it's an all day thing. So I'm not saying I have the right answer or I'm doing this. What I'm saying to you is if you feel that you have that issue where you're eating all day and you're eating the wrong things, let's examine what you're eating so that we can make that correction for your future. All right. Again, wasn't meant to be a, a, a beat up session. This was just I keep hearing these things, these little nuances, and I just wanted to address them. I wanted to touch them just real quick so that you can understand that you can eat right and still be full and should be able to satisfy that brain to stomach trigger. But it's all about finding what works for you. All right. So let's find what works for you. Let's get in the kitchen and find those things. Let's go to the grocery store and find those items. What items that we shouldn't have? Cookies, cakes, ice cream. That's all the bad stuff. That's all those slider foods. Don't need that. Let's substitute some of that with some locale things. Let's substitute it with some, you know, good carbs as far as fruits and veggies. You know, I'm not telling you anything that's new for some of you. Some of you are out there just as long as I have been, but there's a lot of newbies that have joined the page. There's a lot of newbies that have just gotten surgery that are kind of lost. So if this stuff is repetitive, I apologize. I'm not always talking directly to you particularly, but maybe some of the newbies that are out there that are looking for some guidance as well. All right. So it's your boy Rock saying, listen, weight loss starts where? In the kitchen. I'll talk to you guys soon. We'll put some more of these up during the week. I um, hope you guys have a great week, and we'll come up with a new challenge. The salad challenge was a bomb. I saw some great salads, by the way. They were the bomb. I will be putting some up and eating those as well. And shout out to, um, oh, I just forgot, Maria. Maria Shelvin for the OPA, for the OPA dressing. Oh, my goodness. If you want a great dressing, guys, OPA, O-P-A, has different flavors in it. It's like a Greek uh, yogurt uh, dressing, delicious, low in numbers, satisfies. All right. Again, finding the right things. And this one is a right thing. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Two fingers. Peace.